this tree I thought would be quite difficult for it to remove the background properly but if we look at the uh, actual preview right here it's done an amazing amazing job if you're feeling sick and tired of manually removing the background of your AI generated artwork one at a time you've literally just hit the lottery by clicking on this video because I'm going to show you a tool which will help you do this process very effectively in bulk for up to 120 images at once. The tool we're going to be using for this today is called My Designs. There will be a link in the description to this page. This is where you can essentially get started for free if you click this blue button. All you have to do is enter your name, a password, and an email. Just in case you don't know, My Designs helps you sell your designs on Etsy and also Shopify very soon. And they have lots and lots of bulk and automation features to help make the process as easy as possible. One quick thing to mention here is that this bulk background removal feature is currently part of the free plan but that doesn't mean it, it won't become a paid feature in future if obviously a lot of people start using it and it takes up a lot of processing power for my designs then it will probably be part of a paid plan unfortunately once you've created an account and logged in you will be brought to the my designs dashboard to get started you want to head to the listings tab over here click on that and then click on home up here this is where you want to create a new collection so click on this symbol and essentially this is just like a folder system so for different niches you could have different collections or if you want to use one of their features like the background remover you could make a folder called remove background for example and the template you can just select default right here uh, the template for this is not too important and then just click this green tick mark over here to create the collection once your collection has been created you want to select the folder from your menu and then hit open over here. Once you're inside of your folder, you need to click the upload button over here in the top right corner, then click upload. You will then be able to drag and drop multiple files into this field right here and then hit upload all. In my case, I've already done that. I've prepared 120 listings right here. Currently, the uh, free plan is limited to 24 images at a time or 24 bulk processes, I should say. Um, the next option is a paid plan where you get 48 bulk processes at a time and then the, the top tier is like 120 at a time but I've also heard that they're going to raise these limits very soon so you will be able to bulk generate way more things at once even with the lower or free plans all you have to do once you've got your listings ready is head on to uh, this button right here then click select all you want to click on actions and then you want to head all the way down to remove background right here click on that and make sure you've got the input file selected as default which holds all of your images and then the output file slot um, in my case i've got a different template than you probably but it doesn't matter what this is called it can be t-shirt sweatshirt hoodie it doesn't really matter as long as it's a different slot than your input file so um, i select t-shirt one you can generate a preview as well to get an idea as to what this will look like um, so in my case i've got a variety of different designs here this tree i thought would be quite difficult for it to remove the background properly but if we look at the the, uh, actual preview right here it's done an amazing amazing job and um, you can also flick through the listings so we could go to the next one which is uh, this corgi graphic once again quite a sort of complicated one to remove the background of and it's done a brilliant job so this is just the preview you have to hit remove background to do it for all of them in bulk and as you can see it now says processing 120 listings in this collection it's going to run through these now one after another it's usually quite quick it might take a minute two minutes if your files are very very large if they're like 10 20 megabytes it will take way longer than that but in this case i just have a few megabytes per image so it should be done fairly quickly so just while this is running i thought i'd scroll through show you a few of the images we're going to do so this unicorn once again quite difficult to do that manually the strawberry that's very easy i think most of you could do that quickly but nevertheless if you can do it in bulk why not um, this owl i also thought sort of in between the branches and the owl's body some of those white spaces might be hard to remove this one is quite Quite complex this one very complex the edge um, so let's see what it comes back with obviously not all of them will probably turn up perfect right so that's to be expected most of these sort of AI or bulk tools that we have out there uh, they're not 100% perfect but from my tests with this tool it's one of the best and most time efficient ways to remove backgrounds out there so definitely amazing and let's see how many we've got left 45 so I'll see you back in a second and once it's done running through all of your images you want to head up to actions then click on download as zip and make sure to select the file slot right here 
which you saved your new images into with the remove background, deselect the default slot because that still has the original files in it and then click on download zip and it's going to actually combine all those files and save them to your device. So let's take a look at the results together and uh, see what it came back with. So first image looks pretty good but this one was fairly easy to remove the background from I would say. Uh, same with this gaming controller. Now the Corgi uh, does have a more complicated edge and I think it did an amazing job here of actually just removing what's important and not deleting anything sort of in the middle which is what some background removers will sometimes do especially the free ones out there but yeah even with Photoshop it would have probably taken you um, a little bit longer here. This one I thought it would do a terrible job of because of the complex edge and um, there is some fogginess in some places but overall pretty pretty decent job I would say. The unicorn looks amazing too. This is not an easy one to remove the background from. I know because I've tried it before manually. <laughs> And as you can see right here, uh, this is one where it didn't do a perfect job and it took some of the white out of these uh, mushroom spots. So yeah, it's not always going to be perfect, but overall it's going to save you a ton of time and actually get some very, very good results. Just in case you didn't know, My Designs actually has tons and tons of features to help print on demand sellers save tremendous amounts of time. And in this video right here, I go over multiple of these features and show you how you can use them to increase your print on demand sales.